Hi guys, if you want to tow a trailer with your Ford Escape, you're going to have to have wiring installed. Uh, that is state requirement. Uh, that way all your lights work properly on your trailer. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to start doing is start removing some of our floor coverings here. Uh, so we can start with our panel here. And then we can start removing our foam trays. There are a couple of clips that are holding this into the place. I'm going to be using my trim panel remover tool to go ahead and do that. And two, and this panel will come out. We're gonna go ahead and move the two on this side. Now, according to the instructions, it tells us to go ahead and remove the electrical connectors from our box here. Uh, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna remove these and just rotate it out of the way so we don't have to. Flip that up like that, and that should be out of our way. All right, so our next step is to go ahead and remove the rear threshold here. We do have four attachment points, two plastic clips, and two screws. Now that we have our four screws out, we can go ahead and lift up gently and that'll get our threshold out of the way. All right, so our next step is we're gonna use, once again, our trim panel removal tool. We're gonna to go ahead and open up this side panel very carefully. Our next step is to go ahead and remove the tail light. So the first thing we're going to need to do is remove these cover caps from our light to access the bolts behind it. Two, as we can see, we have two bolts that are going to hold the light on. We'll go ahead and remove those. Once we have those removed, we're going to go ahead and slide our tail light rearwards, being very gentle not to break any alignment tabs. We'll go ahead and disconnect the light here from the harness, and we'll just set that aside, and then we're going to take our tail light and just set that off. So our next step, now that we have our light off, we're going to go ahead and loosen up our grommet here on the outside. We're going to pull that out. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take our quick connect. Uh, this is the part with the red, brown, and yellow wire that is going to go ahead to the driver's side. So we're going to start inside the panel here, and we're going to go ahead and feed that harness out through that grommet hole. Then we have our wire through our hole. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and cut the slit in the grommet so we can go ahead and pass our quick connect through that. Uh, we're just going to be using a simple razor blade. Uh, just be very careful not to cut yourself. I'm just going to make an incision just about big enough that we can kind of push that through. Now that we've got that through, we can go ahead and reseat this grommet. Excellent. Next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and connect these two together, just like so. We've got everything connected. Let's connect our tail light up here, clip that into place. Then we're just going to make sure that this is out of the way here, and we will go ahead and reinstall our tail light. After we get our tail light in, you just want to make sure that your rubber here sits on top of the edge of the tail light, uh, and then we can put our screws in and tighten those down, and then we can put our little caps back on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our uh, passenger side and take our tail light off. That way we can run our wire to the right side. Once again, you just want to be careful not to break any sort of alignment tabs and or clips that hold the panel in place. All right, our next step, we're going to go ahead and pull the covers off again, pull the two bolts holding the tail light in place, and then we'll take that off.
Now that we have our light off, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead and disconnect the electrical connector here and then set our light aside. We're gonna go ahead and run the green wire to the passenger side. Make sure that it gets underneath our panel. We'll come over, come back behind. And then we just wanna make sure that we come out the grommet hole here on this side. And then the next step, we're just gonna go ahead and same thing once again from the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and make a slit in our grommet and pass our connector through. go ahead and reseat our grommet. Just push it back in and then you can pull it out till it sits on its lip. All right, and once again, we'll go ahead and make our connection here and then we can go ahead and put our tail light back in place. All righty, we got our tail light. We got all our connections. That's clipped. Let's go ahead and make sure once again, this is out of the way and we can go ahead and put our tail light back. All right, now that we have our tail light, once again, make sure, as you can see, our rubber is not sitting on top of our light. So let's go ahead and just make sure that that sits in proper position. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and put our two uh, tail light screws back, and then we can put our covers on. All right, now that we got the tail light back on, we're just gonna go ahead and tuck our wire behind the panel here, and then we can start putting this side of the car back together. And we can put all our clips back together. And then we just wanna make sure that our weather seal sits on top of the panel like it did originally. All right, we're running the wire across. Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna use our sticky pad that came in our kit. We're gonna go ahead and mount our converter box and make sure that's not in the way of putting the panel back when we are done. Stick that on there. Peel our other side off. And we're just gonna stick that right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mount our mounting our ground right here with a self-tapping screw. Nice and tight. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and connect one end of our power wire to our converter box. going to go ahead and do is just run our power wire out through this grommet that'll get our power wire underneath. So I'm just going to poke a hole in it just like that and then we can go ahead and start running this end of our wire through. So we just have our wires here. I'm just going to put a zip tie or two around it just to kind of keep them all together. Okay, now that our wires are together, we're gonna to go ahead and put our panel back. Make sure our grommet sits on the outside. All right, we're getting ready to put our threshold back. We still have quite a bit of slack here and we don't want that to be exposed. So we're just gonna use a little bit of scotch tape just to hide it out of the way once we put our panel back. That should hide our wiring nice. Everything's clipped in. We will go ahead and reset our weather seal again. And we're gonna put our four screws back in it. Two push pins. And our two screws. We're gonna go ahead and put our panels back. We have four big clips to put in, two on each side. And then we 
we're just gonna put our floor back. And we are all set with inside. All right, we got our power wire ran outside the car. Uh, we're gonna run that up to the battery. Um, we just wanna stay away from anything hot and moving parts. Um, if you have some zip ties, use those. If you can pull a plastic panel down, go ahead, run it underneath that, put it back. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's not going to have a sag underneath, that way you can catch something. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna drop a few nuts here and that's gonna be able to let me pull down this side of the panel. That way I can go ahead and run my wire across the top of it and then we'll put it all back. So we got our power wire ran up to the firewall. Uh, we need to get it to the battery. The safest route that we found is actually gonna be down through this fender here. There's just a whole lot going on here between hot and moving parts that it's probably gonna harm the wire. So we're just gonna run it up through the fender and then connect it to our battery. So I'm gonna start with this fish wire here and we're just gonna run this down. We're gonna grab our wire here and pull that down. Here we go. There it is. And then we're just gonna go ahead and tape the end of our power wire to this, and then we'll go back up top and pull it through. Alrighty, we're back up top. We're just gonna go ahead and pull our power wire back up through our fender. There we go. And we'll pull all our slack up so nothing's hanging loose underneath. All right, now that we have our wire up, we just wanna make sure that we go underneath this section here. That way when the hood shuts, this latch does not interfere with our wire. All right, so we went ahead and got our power wire up here. Now what we need to do is hook it to our battery, which is located here underneath this panel. So we'll just take this little cover off and there's our battery, set that aside. Uh, we're gonna pull down this little bit of insulation here uh, and then we'll go ahead and run our wire above that and that'll make it for a nice, clean look. Run that up there, and then we'll just put our foam insulation back. Now we can go ahead and cut it, and we're gonna go ahead and put in our inline fuse. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is put a ring terminal on the end here so we can attach it to our battery. It's nice and tight. Now what we can go ahead and do is we're going to use a little bit of tape and just cover up our electrical connector here. Okay, and then we can go ahead and add our fuse. And then we're just going to go ahead and secure our wires and then we'll put our cover back. We're done. All right, so we're all set with our wiring. Let me just show you how it's going to work here. We're going to open up our rear door. Uh, your wiring is stored in your storage compartment. When you're ready to tow, you can go ahead and pull it out. Uh, make sure it just lays flat against your weather seal. You can go ahead and shut the door on it just like this. Then you can go ahead and hook up your trailer. As you can see here, uh, we shut the door on it, but there is no actual harm to the wire. The weather seal, as long as it lays flat, it'll remain safe all the time. And then when you're not using it, you can just go ahead and store it back in your storage compartment when you're done, nice and clean. Thank you guys. Enjoy the video. Have a good day.